Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm pretty well. How about you? I too, I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, so as you know, we are meeting for the very first time. So I would love to know something about you. Yeah, I also want to say something about me. Uh, this is Anush Kumar Naik from Odisha State, belongs to Kandamal district. And right now I am in Bhuvaneswar. I am preparing for German language. And um, if I talk about my hobbies that uh, I will say, I want to, uh, I like to play the most of the time basketball. Along with that, uh, I like to read book and uh, learning languages. That's all about myself. So I also eagerly want, and I also need to know about yourself. So please introduce about yourself. Okay, nice introduction. And uh, thank you for asking. So my name is Riti. I'm originally from Bihar, but currently living in Delhi. As far as my educational background is concerned, I'm graduate from Tilka Manji Bharatpur University, Bihar. If you ask, what do I, what do I do for a living? So I run my offline institute in Delhi. The name of my offline institute is Mardasan, and I also have a YouTube channel. The name of my YouTube channel is Mardasan 808, where sometimes I also upload English related content and English conversation video. And when it comes to my hobbies, so my hobbies are listening to music, singing songs, reading books, learning new contents, and watching YouTube videos. And nowadays, my new hobby is talking to a lovely person like you, sir. So this is pretty much about me. Okay, that's a good introduction, and it was short and sweet, really. Okay, sir, you are learning nowadays German language. Yeah, you are right. So why do you need to learn this language? Because nowadays, many people have problem in learning speak speaking English, spoken English, and I think German is German is more advanced and more complicated language than English. I think. Yeah, you are right, because it is totally different from English uh, and as well as from our mother tongue. Uh, actually, what happens when I talk to anyone, most of the time when I say that I'm learning German language, many people, they ask me why I'm learning this language and you to ask me. Okay. So actually what happened, uh, I was trying for MBBS and uh, uh, but I could not qualify uh, because of that I gave one entrance exam for going to abroad for my B.S. in nursing. And uh, I qualified that exam, but while uh, interview, I did not qualify because in the interview time, they took, my, um, they took interview in German language and I did not know. So they asked me and they gave me, they gave me one year to learn this language and uh, to give interview. So right now I am learning this language and I will be giving my interview month of May. May, yeah, May. Then uh, June or July, I will be going to German country. Okay, so it is easy to learn English or it is easy to learn German, which is more easy to learn because uh, we speak and we we'll also learn English since our childhood. But if you talk about any other foreign language, except English, we even we don't know alphabet of any other language, but we know something about because we learn English as a subject since our childhood, but we didn't learn anything except English, like German, French, okay, Korean, any other language, French. First, what do you think? Uh, it is very difficult to learn, or it is some easy. And how do you learn process? Means whenever you are learning German from any Indian tutor who, who, who are teaching this language, or you are learning this language from any foreign tutor who are learning this language. Okay, I will tell everything, uh, whatever you asked. But uh, before that, uh, we know that if uh, you are not uh, giving your time full and uh, if you are not uh, efforts enough and if you are not struggling and everything depends on us, you also know it is very well that uh, I, uh, you told that English is more difficult or German. Surely, uh, I will say that German is more difficult, but it depends on you, how you are giving your time and how you are practicing, how much you are studying that uh, regarding that uh, only depends. What happens from uh, our mother tongue? If I talk about mother tongue, what happens from childhood it's, itself, we are listening to that language. 
and uh, most of the time we listen and while listening only we speak and we practice and english what happens uh, whenever we study uh, from our first class to till the end most uh, in english subject we study in english and we get a new new vocabulary even sentences and uh, while talking our mother tongue also most of the words are there uh, th that are pronounced uh, in english words like we say bed bottle mobile a uh, pen notebook books so many things but german is totally different from everything maybe one to three words are similar but most of the words are diff uh, different from our english or mother tongue so yeah really it is difficult to learn uh, like uh, like uh, we and because it is uh, new for us but it depends on you uh, how much you are struggling and how you are giving time and uh, how much you are um, paying yourself so i will say that german is difficult but for me yeah it is okay normal because uh, uh, within one month i learned something and i hope uh, i have like 8 to 9 months so i will be improving and learning well okay so you are learning english this language from indian tutor or any foreign teacher actually uh, i have one teacher he takes uh, offline classes and uh, he is from uh, india only because uh, he had gone to german country and uh, not only german country so many countries uh, he has visited and uh, uh, along with that he has trained himself and he learned many languages he is, he can speak uh, like 12 13 languages and uh, right now he is teaching okay. not only german as you told like um, uh, korea and uh, some other country languages also he teaches along with the uh, along with the, the that he teaches uh, sometimes english also okay yeah. okay yes in delhi in mukherjee nagar or in gt nagar uh, in spoken english center they teach other languages also like german french korean australian french this type of languages are also taught in gt nagar that's why i asked you and whenever yeah you learn that language oh no okay you have already mentioned you are learning this language from indian tutors so but i was my question was when you are learning english when what was your communication language means how do you understand any alphabet of german yeah. language any letters how do you identify uh actually in the beginning i was not able to read but actually german is a uh, german language it is written like english only but uh, some alphabets are included in german like we say that um, in german they say that umlaut a uh, umlaut u umlaut o something so uh, they are included uh, sir was teaching first time like uh, he uh, he taught us like alphabets and uh, he he helped us to recognize the letters alphabet and words and he taught us uh, um, how to read uh, the way of pronunciation uh, after that uh, he gave um, some structure to um, make the sentences uh, and it is related to english so just uh, pronunciation is a little different and even words are totally different and some alphabets are included so nowadays uh, i learned so it is a little easy for me to read okay, okay. so sir when you are giving your interview that time he only talk his communication language only german uh, but uh, he didn't ask you to speak in english because english is not a global language so if you are giving interview in english it is also good so they are they only demand only you have to speak in german yeah actually uh, first they uh, i gave a written exam after that i went for german uh interview but in interview what happens uh, you will have like two to three session uh, like uh, uh, they will ask uh, in which language you are uh, willing to give interview that up to you and i gave in english uh, but uh, in in the final final interview they asked me to give interview in german because what happens after going to the german i will be working in medical so in the medical what happened the patient will come and i will to interact with them in german language because everybody doesn't know english uh, that uh, they told yeah. me and they took interview in german so it was uh, totally different for me so i told that there itself before um, interview i can't uh, give interview in german language so i need to learn and they gave me one year chance okay 
Next, you are finally decided to uh, go in Germany. Yeah, so, finally sir, I decided but, to go. So, sir, why don't you want to same work in India? So, why don't do you want to go foreign country? <laughs> you can also work here in our country. Yeah, so, uh, this question also asks many of uh, uh, us uh, because uh, uh, whomever, whomever I talk, they ask the same question. Actually, uh, if you don't mind, I will say because uh, you are a teacher and I, I do not know whether you are teaching in government school or private school or you have coaching center. But uh, if you don't mind, then I will say clearly because uh, yeah, yeah, no, what no, no. happens? It's yeah. only a discussion. <laughs> in India, what happens? like a study is part of business in india yeah if you are not paying if you are not giving fees then you will not get admit also in the colleges or school or institute i have seen even i have faced that problem and whether if you are studying well and you you scored well then also it is very difficult to get a colleges or institute because uh, the government looks after only caste 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 and uh, the, uh, he gives uh, to them those who are able to pay and uh, like bribe you know bribe like you know, yes, those yes. who are paying bribe giving bribe to them only he offers job even institutes it happens that's why i say india like uh, all the education part has gone to like um, business and uh, but in out of india it also happening out of india i think but uh, it is not uh, much and even in germany where i am going to study they will not charge money uh, even one rupee because uh, hostel and even college is totally free along with that uh, i will uh, they will be helping me with the scholarship so that's why i chose i have chosen german country okay, okay. yeah so you are finally you are you are you want to finally settle in germany or you only go there for your job purpose and you have to come here you have, you will come back in india or you finally decided to settle there yeah actually uh, i will study there after studying i will be doing job for 3 to 4 years after my experience only i will come to india and i will join any medical college uh, sorry in medical because uh, I am from India and I can't stay there forever. So for my study purpose and uh, for uh, like two to two to three years, I will be doing job for my experience. 